In this video, let us look into the first principle of mathematical induction. So we look into the first principle of mathematical induction with the help of an example. Now let us say we have a statement P of n, okay, where n belongs to natural numbers, which says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n equals n into n plus 1 by 2 where n is a natural number. You know what is natural number, right? Natural number is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4. Naturally, the way we count is the natural numbers. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be the whole numbers. So that is just trying to tell you what's the difference between, you know, if you're wondering what's natural numbers, well, this is what is natural numbers. Starting off with 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on to the infinity is natural numbers. So now say we have a statement P of n okay, where it says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 up till n, you know, an infinite number. Now, it is equal to n times n plus 1 and all of that divided by 2. That is what it, e it equals to. Well, they're saying it. Now, what we have to do is we need to use the first principle of mathematical induction to prove the same. So, now, while we prove this by using the first principle of mathematical induction, what we are going to also do is we are going to learn what exactly is the first principle of mathematical induction, all right? So here we go. So what we have to do is we need to start off with the first step. The first step would involve, in the first step, what we have to do is we just have to substitute the value of 1. That is P of 1 will be equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the sum of 1 is just 1. I mean, you substitute in this, it just gives you 1. You substitute 2, that means it gives you the sum of the first two numbers. You substitute 3, it gives you the sum of the first three numbers. You substitute 4, it gives you the sum of the first four numbers. You substitute n, it gives you the sum of the first n numbers. That's how this formula goes. So in that case, the sum of the first number is just 1, right? So we've substituted and we've got 1. So the base thing is proved now. We proved the, the, the first ever proving is over, but this is not going to suffice to prove the entire thing. Now what we have to do in the next step is, that is the second step. Now in the second step, what we're going to do is, now just the way P of 1 was true, you know, you substituted, you just got 1, whatever should have been got. Let us assume for the second step that P of M is true, all right? So now the third step is the induction step. That's the most important step. So now what, now what we have to do is, now if M is true, now we've assumed that M is true, right? I mean, just, just that 1 was true, so M is also going to be true. The same way, P of M plus 1 should be proven true. Now this is not assumed to be true. But now the third step what we have to do is we need to substitute in the place of m, m plus 1 and show that it is true. Alright, so let us see how are we going to do that. So now what we have to do is we need to prove that p of m plus 1 is true. Now how do we do that? So now, now we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n equals n times n plus 1 by 2. Now we've assumed something is m. So let us write that now. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus m equals m times m plus 1 divided by 2. Right? So now this is proved. We've assumed that this is true. So now we know that. Now what we're going to do in the next step is we're going to prove that p of m plus 1 is also going to be true. Right? So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus m plus m plus 1 is also what we are going to do. We need to prove that this is also the same as this one. So, what we are going to do in this case is we know that the sum of this much, that is see, so much is equal to m into m plus 1 divided by 2. So, we just have to add m plus 1 here. All right. So what we have to show eventually is in the place of m and m, we, we, it should have replaced, you know, it should have been substituted by m plus 1. That is what we have to show by solving this. So let's do, do that. So m plus 1 doesn't have a denominator, so let us write it as 1 and make it both fractions. 
and then add these two now take the LCM it's going to be two obviously first of all taking LCM we have a common denominator which is two so we have m into m plus one plus this has to be multiplied by two right because one has to be multiplied by two therefore the numerator also has to be multiplied by two so two times m plus one so now what we can do is instead of adding as such, you know that m plus 1 is the same in both the terms. Both the terms can be divided by m plus 1. So take out m plus 1. That is factor out m plus 1. And when you take out m plus 1, what you're left with, if you take out m plus 1 from this term, you're left with m. When you take off m plus 1 from this term, you're left with plus 2. So m plus 1 times m plus 2 divided by 2. But is it as if we replace these m's by m plus 1 it doesn't really look like so what we just have to manipulate a little bit so here we have m plus 1 times in the place of m here again what we're going to do is we're just going to split it up m plus 1 plus 1 is what we're going to do use a bigger bracket divided by 2 so if you can see if you can notice now we proved the exact same thing for m by m plus 1 as well. We, we proved for m plus 1 also that it is true. In the place of m times m plus 1 by 2, we've also proved it's the same for m plus 1. The m has been replaced by m plus 1. So m plus 1, if you consider this as m, it's the same form as this, this, and this. So m plus 1 times m plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2. All right, so this is the introduction to first principle of mathematical induction and this is what is the first principle of mathematical induction let me quickly and briefly explain the whole procedure to you before i conclude this video so what we do is we first use the number one and then see if it holds good and once it holds good we assume any other number in this case we've taken m to be true so once we assume that m is true we have to prove m plus 1 should be true so what do we do for that in in the place of n replace m and then equate it to in the place of n again put it put m so m times m plus 1 divided by 2 so now we need to prove it for m plus 1 as well right so you need to put m plus 1 you need to add the right to this equation so we already know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus m equals this so we just have to add m plus 1 and solve it and prove that it still ends in the same form as this except for m is replaced by m plus 1. So that proves that this statement is true. The sum of any number of natural numbers equals n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Uh, do I repeat it again in a different way? The sum of the first n natural numbers in an order that is you just can't you know randomly choose so from 1 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on whatever you want to add say for example 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on so on so on till 69 if you want to find what do you get you add till 69 you, you you just have to replace this n by 69 and you'll get the answer you don't have to add it at all but what we've done here is we proved that this will hold good for that this is true all right so that's it this is the first principle of mathematical induction I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on the first principle of mathematical induction.